thousands of Russians make this journey every single day and head across to Leningradsky Station to take the Krasnaya Strela, the Red Arrow, up to St. Petersburg. I'm pretty impressed with this. Well, hello and Zdravstvite from Moscow and from Red Square with the Kremlin right behind me, home of course to Russian leaders and oligarchs throughout the centuries. Now when it comes to travelling around Russia for these people, of course, the railway is king and it has always been that way. And when the leaders were heading up to St. Petersburg or Leningrad as it was in the day, they would take the Krasnaya Strela, the Red Arrow, which is a overnight train from here in Moscow up to St. Petersburg. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be following in the footsteps of the great leaders and the Tsars and the dignitaries and taking a ride up to St. Petersburg on the Krasnaya Strela, the Red Arrow. Now before we go and jump on the train up to St. Petersburg, I need to show you the hotel I've been staying in here. This is the Sovietsky Hotel, built in the 1950s by the son of Joseph Stalin. Um, and it was used to house all of the visiting diplomats and foreign leaders from around the world when they came to visit the Soviet Union. Um, two reasons really, not only because it was a really lavish and probably the most lavish hotel in Moscow, but also all the rooms were booked so that anything that was said by various leaders could be picked up by the Soviet regime. Inside it really is something to behold, so let me just quickly take you inside and show you this hotel before we head to the station and get on the train up to St. Petersburg. Isn't this place just absolutely phenomenal? <laughs> the halls, the marble everywhere, just an absolutely beautiful hotel just outside the centre of Moscow. Look at this. Now back in Soviet times, of course, this hotel would have been booked by the um, communist leaders here in the Soviet Union. Um, and there's like lots of stories of little secret cupboards and little secret doors and stuff everywhere in this hotel where they used to have monitoring rooms to monitor all of the rooms from the visiting dignitaries. I'm not going to talk too much about the history of the hotel because there's already a fantastic video on YouTube by Bold and Bankrupt who's done a really nice, far better job of talking about this place than I could ever do. So I'll pop a link to that video up there. But before we go off to the station, I need to show you my room here. Now, of course, like any great leader, we're not just staying in any room at the Sovietsky Hotel. We're staying in this one. This is Stalin's apartment. Yes, that's right. This guy up here, Mr. Stalin himself, well, he used to stay in this apartment here, as well as all the great leaders when they used to come to Moscow visiting dignitaries. And just look at this room here. I mean, crazy. This is just the living room bit, look. Chandeliers on the ceiling. This is the first hotel I've ever stayed in where my room has got its own private conference room with this dude on the wall, of course. And um, just, <laughs> would you just look at this? It's incredible. I mean, to think that leaders like Stalin and Thatcher have sat at this very table, this very desk, signing decrees and things. I feel like Michael Scott out of the office. Let me go through to the bedroom, look at this. Oh, Chuck Norris has slept in this very bed, or hopefully not this exact same bed, but in this location, I mean. <laughs> of course, with his own bathroom as well. Which in itself is a work of art, I mean, good lord, look at the bathroom. And Margaret Thatcher has sat on this toilet. Actually, that's not really a thought I want to going through in my head anyway. Can I have a bit of privacy, please? The list of people who've stayed in this actual room is just something else. And now, well, I'm staying here. Right then, it's time to say goodbye to Stalin's apartment at the Sovietsky Hotel and head across to Leningradsky Station to take the Krasnaya Strela, the Red Arrow, up to St. Petersburg. Let's go. Today is a Russia day here in Russia, um, which means that everybody's heading out to celebrate tonight. So the roads are pretty busy. Um, everyone's heading out into town to have a 
few drinks and celebrate for a chef. And then welcome to Leningradsky station in Moscow, right next door to this one here, Yaroslavlsky station, which goes up towards Yaroslavl. And we're heading to St. Petersburg tonight. So we go on the Leningrad line, which goes from Leningradsky. It's a bit like St. Pancras and King's Cross in London, really. Just a whole lot busier. It's crazy. There's 21 trains a day between Moscow and St. Petersburg. And about half of those leave around this time of night to get in early in the morning into St. Petersburg. It is a crazy busy route and obviously thousands of Russians make this journey every single day so we're going to join them today except we're doing it in style of course on the train used by diplomats and leaders from around the world and the communist party elite and I'm going to be one of them tonight <laughs> taking the red arrow. I was telling you about how many trains there are to St. Petersburg. Look at that board. Almost every single train tonight is going to St. Petersburg. Um, mine's a very top one. The 2355 Krasnaya Strela. And we're going from... Where are we going from? I don't know. I think in number... It's train number two. It's train number two on the Russian railway network. It's train number one is the train the other way from St. Petersburg to Moscow. We're on train number two, which goes that way. So... Um, I should never know. I should never know. I don't know what that means. I will try and find out, figure out where we need to head to to get the train up to St. Petersburg. So it seems we are a little bit early for the train, but they are boarding about an hour out by the looks of it. Um, the trains are listed on here quite handily with the numbers of the carriages and where they are on the train and stuff so you can find your way to your carriage. Um, there's about five trains leaving before 10 o'clock to St. Petersburg. Uh, premium means it's the um, sleeper service as was high and then they've got the express service as well. They've got these um, Sapsan trains that take four hours to do the route from Moscow to St. Petersburg but then obviously they've got all the night trains as well that take about eight hours to do the same journey of obviously going a lot slower so you get a good night's sleep before you arrive into St. Petersburg. Um, so I'm gonna just hang around here for a bit and see what there is to do at Leningradsky station. Might get a bite to eat before we head down to board the train. Traveling like an oligarch, you might as well eat like one as well. starting boarding here or the trains about half an hour before they actually leave and we've got about an hour and a half until our train is but I am going to sort of hang around here in the platform area just for a little bit and hopefully be boarded soon and getting on our way um, it's just <laughs> such a fun experience just hanging around here and watching everybody just sort of running for their trains and stuff I love hanging around stations that's weird isn't it I do like hanging around train stations and just watching people flap and leg it for their trains that they're about to miss so <laughs> It's fun. We'll be on our way soon. Now, most Russian trains have three classes of service on them. You get third class sleeper trains, which is the old sort of open plan dormitory style that you see on a lot of um, trains here. Then you've got your second class, your coupe, which is where you have like four beds in a room and you can either buy just one bed and share with either other men or other women, um, or you can just buy all four. Uh, beds for yourself which is something that I've done before down in um, Ukraine. Then you have your first class which is generally two beds uh, and again you've got the choice of buying both of them if you want a room to yourself. But the Krasnaya Estrella goes a step further, they've got a deluxe class which is above first class and guess what we're doing today as we're recreating the root of the old oligarchs and Tsars and party leaders. We're taking deluxe class tonight of course when the train eventually starts boarding. Right, ready to go. Platform number three. Here we go. Off to St. Petersburg. Alright, so this train.
train is really long. That was carriage number 16. We're in carriage number one. So we've got about another 15 <laughs> carriages left to go until we get to um, our carriage at the other end of the train. Isn't it a beautiful train now? Look at this. Krasnaya Strela. The Red Arrow. One of the great Russian trains. One of the classic Russian trains, actually. A lot of history behind it. So, looking forward to getting on board. I think at this rate, we're walking halfway to St. Petersburg. This is quite nice. Shut my door in a minute, we'll have a look around this room. Oh, this looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Right, so let's have a quick look around this. This is the deluxe room on the Kresne Estrella. I mean, good Lord, look at this. We have a TV playing Russian soap operas, no doubt. We have something up there, nice, gorgeous mirror. Um, and then what have we got here? A bit of storage along here, look. Notepad, look, you get a Krasny Estrella notepad. Wicked. You get your room key. A few lighting controls and stuff. Look at that, it's like Emirates first class on a plane. And then down here, what do we have? We've got chocolate. Awesome. Any um, train company that gives you free chocolate, well, I'm happy with. And we've got fruit. And we've got dining stuff. Menu here. Uh, menu podushek. 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 Is that for breakfast or is that for dinner? I can't remember. I don't know. It's not for either. <laughs> I don't know what it means. Menu for something. Russian speakers will know better. Um, yeah, glass of water and stuff on there. That's pretty decent. Air conditioning. Individually controlled, which is nice on these Russian trains because they like to crank the heat in right up. There it is. Coming alive up there. Let's stick that on. And then we've got power. Look, we've got... Uh, what we got here? Dop Oton... Autoplenier. Um, Vizov Provodni... Provodnika. Ah, it's called the Provodnika. Um, and you've got power supply here and a lamp or as well. Look at that. Oh. Very cool. And then these gorgeous curtains here. And then we have another room. This is the bathroom. Let me check. Oh, we have a bathroom with a shower. It's tiled. Good Lord. A tiled bathroom with a nice full-size shower cubicle. Oh my goodness. Just, <laughs> just look at this. I mean, I thought the Caledonian sleeper was good and cool in the fact that they had individual bathrooms. This has a full-size bathroom. It's not a caravan toilet like you get on the Cali sleeper. No, this is a full-size hotel room bathroom. bathroom with a window so you can watch the world go by as you have your shower in the morning wow and then what's here full wardrobe radio up there 
more storage. I think you've got your sheets and stuff up there. Oh, they? They're towels. So you've got towels up there, pillows for the beds. This is proper sweet. This is. I like this. So here we go. This is what you get on the Krasnaya. Yeah? Oh, Estrella. Little book all about the history of it as well, which is nice. It's all in Russian. Um, nice little touches like this, though. It's incredible. The history of the Krasnaya Estrella. And then wine. Oh, wine list. Oh, we have a wine list. You order on the app and they'll deliver it to your room. I like the sound of that. We shall take full advantage of that very soon. And then we have food menu, summer menu, appetizers. This is proper cool. So we actually get full room service for the looks of it too. We, we have to try that in a bit. I'm pretty impressed with this. It's pretty decent, isn't it? Um, for a night train anyway. So let's... Um, try and sit back and chillax a little bit as we wait to depart from Leningradsky station and head towards St. Petersburg. So it looks like we get breakfast on board actually. There is a menu here, menu for of the guaranteed feeding rations for passengers of luxury cars. So my feeding rations are listed in here. What shall we get for our feeding rations in the morning? Let's have a look. We have a choice of cold starter. We have choice of main course rice porridge or berry topping omelette with cheese pancakes with red caviar. You can get caviar on this train. Wow, we have to do that, surely. As a man of great power and statute in the party, we need to have caviar for breakfast, surely. Um, what else do we get? Dessert, uh, fruit and berries platter, chocolate, choice of two soft drinks, and a cup of coffee. Wow. They do vegetarian breakfast if you are that way inclined as well. They do a children's breakfast. I might have one of them as well. No, not really. Enjoy your meal. Wow. Fantastic. So I don't know when they'll come and all bring that round. But when they'll bring round my guaranteed feeding ration. Um, but we will find out in the morning. I do like the fact that they give you not one, but six coat hangers. Like, this is an eight hour train from Moscow to St. Petersburg. Who needs six coat hangers to hang all their stuff out of their suitcase? Wouldn't you just do what I'm going to do and just grab it out of the case in the morning when you're ready to get dressed? <laughs> I don't know. Crazy. Six coat hangers. Wow. Right, we're five minutes before we are due to depart and. The engine's just fired up next door. Bearing in mind we are in the very front car of the train. So we're right next to the engine. Um, or the loco, I should say, getting into my train speak. Um, the loco's just fired up and I've just felt the train clanging and banging about a bit. So clearly they're just connected summit or summit up. So in a minute, we'll be on our way. All right, so we're on the move, right on time departure there. Um, the Plovnita has just come around, the car attendant. Um, and gone through the breakfast options. Basically, you can choose your breakfast to come um, at any time between half six and when we arrive at eight. So I've ordered it for half seven so I can get a bit of extra sleep and time for a shower. Um, also, they've got a full wine list and everything and drinks you can have in the evening. So I've just ordered some drinks from there as well. They're gonna bring it to my room. And he's also brought around some slippers and an amenity kit, Ooh. which we'll go through in a little bit. This is pretty, pretty cool, this is um, service fantastic actually so far, um, it was very helpful, he's shown me all around the room and um, yeah, we'll get on our way. And when he came around as well, he also told me that with included in my fare, because it's a deluxe room, included in the fare you get a free transfer anywhere in St Petersburg at the other end. So um, yeah, I've got a free transfer to my hotel when I get there, which is pretty nice, isn't it? Um, it saves me having to battle around trying to find a Yandex to pick me up when um, they're just going to have a taxi waiting for me at the other end, so pretty decent.
rail map app um, to see where we are. And in a minute, we're going to be passing a place called Kimki or Kimki, um, which is the place that when I came to Russia as an 11 year old, that is the place I stayed. The school that we did the exchange with was in Kimki, and the um, family that I stayed with while I was over here lived right across the road from Kimki railway station. So, in a couple of minutes, we're going to go sailing through Kimki, and I'm going to see the exact place that I came to stay when I was 11 years old. <laughs> this is pretty cool. The first time in 30 years. Here, there's the river. Oh, I remember the river. That's the apartment blocks. My friend's friend stayed in those apartments blocks. Here we go, here's the downtown Kimki. There we go, there it is. Wow, that's the building. Just beyond to the station. There it is. There we go, going back through Kimki for the first time in 30 years, that is just incredible. <laughs> Amazing. Perfect, thank you. Good night. Good night. The entertainment has arrived for the evening. Oh, oh, oh. Of course you can't come on the Krasne Estrella. The most Soviet of Soviet trains without having some vodka and a glass of wine as well, just in case the vodka isn't enough. So, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a good vodka. Half a bottle down three more halves of bottles to go. <laughs> so I asked the guy about the TV um, and how it works and effectively it's not really a live TV, you basically get a pack of DVDs um, <laughs> to go through and you can pop them in the little DVD player that's up there on the wall. Let's have a look in the box, see what we have. This cord. Disc 5, disc 3, disc 5, disc 9, no, it's just a load of, a load of DVDs basically. I'm presuming they're all in Russian, but essentially, if you speak Russian, you're probably going to be alright here. So, um, <laughs> you basically load the DVD up and it play on the TV up on the wall. Um, it's not really live TV as such. Because um, I imagine that live TV on a train must be pretty difficult actually. Um, when you're traveling as far as we are on this train, um, it's like 400 miles up to um, St. Petersburg from Moscow. So yeah, we're not bothered with any telly tonight. Um, I'm gonna finish drinking my vodka, possibly my wine, but I might save that until I get to the hotel. Dunno. Um, and then try and get some sleep because in the morning we arrive into St. Petersburg at 8 a.m. which is pretty flipping early considering we didn't leave till midnight um, so um, yeah let's get some more vodka drunk and then um, I can show you the immunity kit and we'll put the bed down right oh. immunity kit time RZD is the um, Russian Railway Company it's the name of them um, so let's have a look what we get in the RZD Immunity Kit. We'll open it up. Let's see what we get. Come on, you. Get open. Oh, yay. Hey, 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 hey. There we go. Oh. The zip's a bit crap. Right, okay, there we go. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. That is a nice scene of a Russian city. We get. What do we get? Siberica. Mouthwash. Here we go, we got mouthwash. Do you think they're telling me something that I need mouthwash? Um, we get shampoo, we get shower gel, we get... What is that? Oh, it's like a douche for in the shower. <laughs> like I'm not big enough of a douche anyway. Um, some sort of shoe shine kit. Shoe shine shine. Um, earplugs. 
presumably so that we can block out the train going to toots next door. We get a razor. Who bothers shaving, like, on a train? I don't know, if you want to shave on a train, you can do on a Crosney Estrella. You get a toothbrush, in case you've forgotten yours. And you get, uh, what's this, toothpaste. Roski toothpaste. That, I think, oh, what's this? Hell, one more, one more, one more. Aquatique shaving cream. So yeah, if you want to shave on a train, that sounds really risky, shaving on a train, going over a bump, it's like, <laughs> slicing your face open. Yeah, doesn't sound good, does it? Um, oh, well, there's another bit as well, on the top. I nearly missed this bit. What's this? What's this? What's this? Ah, we got a comb. An RZD comb. We get a little leaflet thing. And we get a refresher emblazoned with a picture of a train on the front. And it comes in this little bag that hangs as well. I love it when they do this. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I don't think what airline it was um, on that did that. Oh, Ethiopian. So Ethiopians' um, immunity kits have got the same thing. They've got a little hanger on them. Very cool. Anyway, there you go. If you get a train, if you get the Trasne Australia and travel in deluxe class, um, maybe in first class as well, I don't know. But anyway, whatever, you get this, the cool RZD immunity kit. Procrastia Rossia Da. Right, we're going to try putting this bed together, which after 200ml of vodka, or two little bottles of vodka, is going to be an interesting experience, so let's see how we do. From what he was saying, we have to move this table first, um, and move this out of the way, and there's a little lever, I think, under here. Hang on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, we're falling out the first hurdle here. Hang on. I'm going to have to muck under here. He made it look really easy. Um, does it just pull? No, it doesn't pull. Yeah. Well, we're falling at the first hurdle. Apparently, we have to move this table. <laughs> <laughs> Still, I can't find out how you do it. Oh dear, this isn't good, is it? Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, it just moves. It just moves. There we go. Oh, look at that. Hey, we did a thing. Right now, we have to pull this down. You got a little lever, a little sort of brown on it. Oh, look at that look, it folds. Oh, 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 that's tight, that's tight. Is it gonna do it? it, gonna do it? Oh, yes. Look at that. And that's it. Wow, look at the size of that bed. That's bloody huge. Right, and then, I don't know. Clearly, that, oh, that's the mattress. Oh, no, that's not the mattress, that's the duvet. Um. Oh, right, we've got a little thing here. We can just unhook that, maybe. Oh, there we go. Bye bye. And then we've got a duvet. Ooh, and pillars. One, two. There we go. Look at that look. Perfectly made bed. Would you look at that? Hey, hey, I did a thing. I made a bed. Rage, 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 I made a bed. Look. Hey. Proud on me. Right, okay. Um, I don't think I need those pillars up there because there's some down there. So um, I'm going to get undressed and I'm not going to record this bit because I don't want to put you all off your dinner. Um, but let me climb into bed. Right, so bedtime and the bed is... Mm, well, actually, it's not bad, actually, if you lay straight. I can sort of fit in the bed quite easily, which is quite nice. Um, it's about as good as a lot of airline flat beds, but it's a lot wider. It's like more than a single bed. It's sort of, um, 
I don't know, a big single bed basically. So um, yeah, it's pretty comfortable. So I'm gonna try and get some sleep. I mean, I need to set my alarm for in the morning because we arrive into St. Petersburg at um, just before eight o'clock and it's a non-stop train. So hopefully I'll get a decent night's sleep and I will speak to you in the morning. Good night. Well, good morning from on board the Crosnia Estrella. And it's now just coming up to 6.30 in the morning. So we've got around about um, an hour and a half until we arrive into St. Petersburg and it's oh, really bright and sunny out. Um, St. Petersburg has these white nights at the minute um, at this time of year, which means it basically never gets fully dark because it's so far north. So of course, six o'clock in the morning, it's like the middle of the day. So, <laughs> so that's kind of what's woken me up. But never mind, because it means we get to enjoy some of this scenery before we arrive into St. Petersburg on this beautiful sunny morning. Um, See, so yeah, I slept all right. I got about six hours sleep or so, I'd say, which wasn't too bad. The bed is really comfy. Just takes some getting used to the rocking and rolling of the um, train as usual when you tr um, travel on a sleeper train. Um, but yeah, I didn't sleep too bad at all, really. Um, probably helped in part by the um, vodka last night, <laughs> but um, never mind. Um, I'm gonna get up in a minute. I'm gonna go and have a shower, get sorted, and um, yeah, we'll soon be arriving into St. Petersburg. First train I've ever been on where they give you um, a dressing gown. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh, the height of sophistication and luxury. Um, quite a nice shower actually and very powerful um, and spacious for a train shower at least. I mean certainly um, it's the best shower I've ever had on a train before. Um, I shouldn't think words I'd never thought I'd be saying but yeah that was pretty decent actually so um, going to sort of get ready now. My breakfast should be arriving in the next half an hour and there's more and more buildings appearing on the horizon so I think we're getting closer and closer to St. Petersburg now. So just reading through this book that they gave me, the Krasnaya Estrella has been going for 90 years this year. That's incredible isn't it? 90 years this train's been running non-stop between Moscow and St. Petersburg um, and it started in, let's have a look, There's pictures in this book from over the years. I feel like in 1944, during World War II, this was. It used to operate with a steam train back then and then back in the 1950s. That's what it used to look like, wow. And here we go, 2021. Here's the modern face of the Krasnaya Estrella. That's what you get. Well, here's the that's the room that we're in. Nice. There's a nice lady bringing you your breakfast. And the beautiful cups that you get your tea in. Lots of pictures of them. Oh, there's a bar on board as well. Should have checked out the bar last night actually. And there we go. There's all the staff of the Krasnaya Estrella. Aren't they a pretty bunch of people? There we go. 90 years. That's incredible, isn't it? And I think, from what I remember, it's only actually stopped running for like a very short period in that time during like the siege of Leningrad or something in World War II. Apart from that, this train has run non-stop every night for 90 years. Just amazing, isn't it, really? So looking at my rail map here, we are literally on the outskirts of St. Petersburg now um, and we've got still about an hour before we're due to be arriving into um, St. Petersburg and we're only like 
a few miles away and we seem to have just slowed down to a crawl for the last bit to make sure that we're getting on time into some piece. So Russian railways are just brilliant. You know, if you, you can set your watch by them, literally they're very, very good in my experience. So yeah, about an hour to go, I'm just waiting for my breakfast. has arrived and we have pancakes, we have salmon with lemon, we have a bit of bread and we have caviar. I'm sort of starting slightly to regret ordering caviar for breakfast. Doesn't seem the most appetising thing to eat at 7.30 in the morning but we'll give it a go. Hey, we've got to live like these oligarchs did haven't we? So um, yeah, let's um, do this. day breakfast usually, I'll be missing the pork pie that I usually have for Christmas day breakfast as well but never mind, let's have a bit of salmon, mm -mm. it's very good. Right, it is time to see what caviar tastes like at 7.30 in the morning with coffee. <laughs> It's okay, but well, in the evening maybe, not for breakfast, it's a bit strong. Let's have some juice, apple skin, apple skin, apple skin. I'm just going to do some of that work to wash my mouth out. And my pancakes of course. Nice. We appear to be entering St. Petersburg now because there's lots of buildings coming up. So. And the stations that we're going past are full of commuters heading into work. So. My ride on the Krasme Estrella tonight then cost me £148.34 or $200, US dollars, working out at a cost of 33 pence per mile. Now of course you could fly this route in an hour many times a day for a lot less money, but personally, why go through the stress of flying through Russian airports and then having to find a hotel at the other end when you could just spend the night in absolute luxury on board this train? Well, here we are then, St. Petersburg. Bang on time. 8.55. 7.55 in the morning rather, um, so we are bang on time for our arrival. <laughs> That's incredible, literally to the minute we pulled in. So let's um, go and get off the train. Thank you, you too. Hello, thank you. Thank you. So arrived in St. Petersburg with the national anthem playing to welcome me. The oligarch from Mansfield arrives into St. Petersburg. Thank you, Rossia. Spasiba, Rossia. As always, I'd like to say a big thanks to my patrons. You can join them at the link on the screen now for access to my WhatsApp group, live weekly Zoom calls with me, and much more. This is how oligarchs should be treated. Thank you, bye-bye. Shinkless lifts. That's a nice hotel, isn't it? Alright, room 320 after the airbus, of course. They must have known I was coming. Oh, 
Well, here we are then. Got a view over the restaurant and everything here. Very nice. Um, so welcome to St. Petersburg. Oh, what a lovely ride that was on the Krasne Estrella. Really enjoyed that. Um, up from Moscow, traveling like the oligarch I aspire to be. Um, and now we are here at the Hotel Indigo, which is also quite a nice place. So yeah, welcome to St. Petersburg. I've got a few bits I'm gonna be doing up this neck of the woods as well. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of them. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.